I'm not sure what the weather's like where you are here. It's not quite coat weather in the daytime, definitely coat weather in the evening. I've just had to drag my camel coat out for the first time in a very long time. I love camel coats. I think they're classic, timeless, chic, and most of all, they're very versatile. In today's video, I've got some outfit ideas and ways that you can elegantly wear a camel coat. I've got some outfit inspiration from other ladies and how they wear theirs, and I've got some of my looks to show you too. A fail safe way to wear a camel coat is to pair it with black. It's a lovely colour combination and it always looks so elegant together. This is a head to toe black outfit underneath the camel coat. You could put this together with whatever you have, a knit, a t-shirt or shirt, black jeans or black trousers and any black bag. It's so simple to recreate and looks effortlessly chic. This is a similar look but without a belt or you could wear nude heels for a smarter, perhaps evening look, or even black heels. This is a look I tried before with all black. The shoes can easily be swapped for boots, but I like it with the nude heels, just like the picture. Add a chunky scarf, or try it with wide leg trousers instead. All paired with a gorgeous black suit, it looks stunning. The all black ensemble can be layered up with a shirt underneath, just like this look. And if heels aren't appropriate, the black heels can be swapped for black boots and it will work beautifully with them. I like this look, very Audrey Hepburn to me. I like the all black with the camel and the two-tone shoes. I've tried it myself with some similar shoes that I have from Marks and Spencers. I'd still get away with wearing these for now. I think it's a nice, simple way to wear a camel coat with black. There's so many different ways black can be worn with a camel coat. It never gets to be boring. If you find wearing all black too harsh, swapping the bottoms to either blue or white is a very nice alternative. I like white worn with a camel coat in the colder months, either white with a black top or white with a camel coloured top. I like all white with a camel coat too. This looks quite spring-like, but a white knit could be worn instead. An outfit like this would work with a camel coat instead. It looks fabulously stylish. I wear mine with a shirt and I layer it up when I need to. You could try white on top and black on the bottom or layer it with a shirt underneath. You could try blue on the bottom instead of black with a shirt and with a scarf. Wear it smarter for work with smart trousers or dress down for a more casual look. There's lots of ways to mix and match blue, white and black with the camel coat. I love the camel coat paired with a chunky knit in the autumn and the fall. I think it looks so cosy but still stylish. This look with the knit in similar tones looks gorgeous. With the print bag, the colours look fabulous together. If you have a longer length knit, it looks great worn like this with black trousers and boots. A cable knit sweater looks great with some blue jeans in either a camel colour or a beige sweater. I tried this look myself with a knit and a camel coat. It's a great go-to outfit when it starts getting much colder. I do like outfits in one colour worn head to toe, all colours in very similar tones. I just think it looks great. It's not necessarily an everyday going to the shops look, but if you have the occasion to wear it, it can look sensational. This is a gorgeous outfit and the colours look so nice together. A layered outfit like this looks very chic and stylish. It can be recreated really with anything in those tones or shades you have in your wardrobe already. Smart trousers or on-trend style trousers or paper bag style trousers, or even with a dress, it can look stunning. Camel looks fantastic with red, but if all red is just a bit too much, just a pop of red can look fantastic. If you have a red jumper, you could try wearing that with blue jeans and a camel coat. I love this look, which is all camel with some gorgeous red shoes on the bottom. I think it looks fabulous. Or perhaps the most simplest way to do it would be to add a red bag. This is another look I love, and I love all the colours together. I've tried this with my camel coat, which is from Zara, and my boots, which are from Color Shoes, and the bag is mango. Another way would be with all black, like this look, and I've tried this look too. The red bag just adds a gorgeous pop of color. Another lovely way to wear a camel coat is with some animal print. And because of the colors, I do think a leopard print really does look gorgeous with camel. This is a lovely look with all black underneath, a bag and animal print shoes. 
These colours look amazing together and even if the style of trousers or the boots aren't your style, a similar look could be got with another style. This outfit will work if you have a shorter length coat or a longer length coat layered up with a scarf and some animal print flats. This is the look I'll love forever. I love the simplicity and those shoes just look amazing with it. You don't have to wear heels, flats or boots will work. Just like this look, but with blue jeans. An animal print bag looks great with red and white and a camel coat. If you don't want to wear animal print shoes, or you could try a different print like snake print. This is another look I adore. It's a smart, very elegant look. I've tried it. My coat is very old from H&M, but I do like this look a lot. The camel coat looks great warm with grey. It's a colour combination that I always seem to forget but I'm starting to fall in love with it more and more. Just a grey scarf worn very simply with the camel coat looks fabulous. Layering is a nice option with a grey blazer especially for a work outfit or it looks gorgeous with some light blue jeans and a grey sweater. A print like stripes or checks also look great worn with a camel coat. Of course the Breton stripe top and black jeans always looks good but there are other prints it looks equally as good with. A vertical stripe looks nice, casual and still smart or a check trouser also looks great with a camel coat. All these tones look gorgeous together. If you don't have a camel coat there are a few nice ones to choose from for all different budgets. This is a wool camel coat in a classic shape. It's 180 pounds and it's a type of coat that wouldn't date and could last in your wardrobe for years. This is a double breasted camel coat that's in a wool blend. It's a lovely shape with wide lapels and a belt. This style is perhaps more wearable than a long line camel coat and it's great for a smart casual look. Mango have a nice wrap around belted camel coat. It's £119 and it is wool. It looks lovely on the model styled with a polo neck and it's a nice way to wear the camel coat. Benetton have a nice single breasted coat. It's reduced to £104. Reese have a gorgeous one too. I do like it with the blue jeans like it's shown here. It's more expensive at £325 and it's a wool blend but it does look lovely. This is a shorter single breasted camel coat with a wide lapel and tortoiseshell buttons. It's a very nice looking coat and this one costs £139. There's lots of gorgeous camel coats out there and so many different ways that they can be worn and styled. If you're still here watching, I wanted to say a big, big thank you. Last weekend I hit the 100,000 subscriber mark, which was absolutely amazing. Probably like a lot of people who start a YouTube channel, I never thought I'd get 100 subscribers, let alone 100,000. And in fact, round about this time last year, I was about to give up on YouTube. It wasn't really working for me. I couldn't quite find my way with it. And I really didn't think it was worth carrying on. So I thought I'd put one last video out. And of course, weirdly, that one took off and it sort of gave me the incentive and encouragement to carry on. And now here we are today with over 100,000 subscribers. So I just wanted to thank you. Thank you for supporting Supporting me and the channel it really does mean a lot to me um, I don't want this to end up like some kind of Oscar winning acceptance speech so I am going to end it here if you have stuck with me right from the beginning and to everyone who's joined along the way thank you so much